Hey guys, welcome back to Dinner for Two. Uh, today we're going to be making birria tacos. So let's check out how they're coming along. Okay guys, I know you can't smell this, but it smells amazing. So if you want to learn how to make these tacos, keep watching. Hey guys, so this is our first time making birria and it came out amazing. You definitely need to try it. It's really not that difficult. It is a little bit time consuming, but it's worth it. I saw a video of this restaurant that makes it in California and it looked amazing. I had actually never even heard of it. Tony had heard of birria before, but uh, they make it in Mexico and eat it is in like a soup style. Uh, but these tacos looked amazing, so we went ahead and gave it a shot, and I'm so happy that we did. So you can see that we already put the meat, the peppers, the onion, the chicken bouillon, salt, and we're just going to go ahead and let this cook for about an hour. And at that point, we'll go ahead and take out the peppers. We did decide to take out the peppers and cut the ends off and de-seed them so make sure that you do that before you even start it's going to make it a lot easier to keep those peppers down into the water and not just be floating on the top okay so after about an hour we're going to remove the peppers and blend them until it's until they're pureed and once you get a nice consistency you're going to pour the puree back into the pot as you can see we're adding a little bit of the stock back into the blender because you don't want to waste any of that puree because that's where birria gets its signature color from. So make sure you get all of that. Okay guys, so it's been about two hours for us and this is how you'll know if your birria is ready. See how it's just pulling apart? That's exactly what you want to see. Okay guys, so it's been a total of two and a half hours of cooking and we're going to go ahead and chop the meat. As you can tell, the meat is super tender. You don't even need to use a cleaver or anything like that, but I just love using the cleaver so I just went ahead and used it anyway. <laughs> okay guys, so now we're going to go ahead and build the tacos. As you can see, we're adding a good amount of meat and we're also adding some mozzarella cheese. I don't really know why, but it does add a great flavor. That uh, video or that restaurant that I told you all about, that's what they did. So just go ahead and push down on your tacos a little bit to make sure that the cheese is all melted and so that you can also get that nice crisp outside because we're gonna go ahead and dip these tacos into that consomme and it's gonna be amazing. ready and it smells so amazing we're so ready to eat Sam is ready to eat too we got him a little soup bowl this is like the consomme and just some of the shredded meat in there this is how people typically eat it but we wanted to go ahead and try the new way which is in tacos um, so yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this recipe if you did please give us a thumbs up leave us a comment down below if you have any future requests and also, uh, we went ahead and created an Instagram page, so if you're interested, follow us on there. And if you recreate any of our recipes, please tag us in your post. We love seeing your recreations, and we would love to reshare your post. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye! Mm. 
¿Quieres más? Chami, sé más. ¿De qué Ok, you guys, I don't know if you've ever heard of birria, but like you take your taco, it has beef and cheese in there, and then you dip it in the consume, like this, and then you take a bite.